Hello guys, welcome back to the channel to this video where I'm going to open this parcel which just arrived today and I'm quite excited to see uh, what's in here and just to get my hands on the watches. Uh, this is a collaboration video with another channel, just one more watch. Jody uh, from the channel reached out to me. Uh, I wish I could take credit for starting this, but he reached out to me and offered to, you know, uh, collaborate. He sent some pieces, I've sent some back, uh, and we are going to, I guess, share this with you guys. So thank you again, Jody. Uh, guys, check out his channel. It's phenomenal. Uh, he's got a fantastic style and a feel to it, and I've really enjoyed watching his videos. So, you know, do go over, uh, subscribe, give him your support. Uh, not that I really need to push too much because I think he's just going to be uh, very successful with what he's doing. Uh, so without further ado, let's check out what's in here. Okay. Alright guys, so here we go, uh, <laughs> I kind of had to really cut through that amazing packing that Jody did, uh, you know, you've really packed it very uh, nicely there. So let's just have a look what's in here, so Seiko, pretty standard box, nothing uh, you know out of the ordinary here, more bubble wrap, and yup, okay, so this is, uh, I believe, the SNZ G13. I think this uh, he uh, reviewed this as his first uh, Seiko. Interestingly, um, you know, someone who knows so much about watches, but this was his first one. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, obviously take a good look at this one. Look at that movement. Uh, what is that? NH35 uh, or 4R16, I suppose, as, as Seiko uh, does it themselves. Um, I might be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, and it's a Seiko 5, so you know that's going to be quite an interesting look for me. Let's have a look how it fits. Ooh, well, maybe we have nearly exactly the same size wrist, so there we have it. Okay, so look out for that one. That's obviously going to come up uh, sometime in the near future for you guys uh, as I review this and enjoy this uh, on the wrist. Uh, you know, perhaps not fooling around with it too much, but. Uh, it is a classic Seiko 5, you know, the feel style, aviator style watch, uh, I suppose you might call that design. Okay, let's just put that away. Now, this one. Tianjin. Alright, Chinese. 1963 it's got there. Uh, NATO around the outside. Alright, that's... look at that. All oh, right, now this is the Seagull 1963, or one of the versions of this. Uh, it does come in various different versions, but uh, the one uh, Jody got is, uh, you know, a one without the display back. Uh, but look at that acrylic crystal, you know. I mean, that's. Uh, I think this is the first acrylic I've come across, and that that's just got some special reflectivity there. That 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 refraction. Uh, because it's got different properties to mineral crystal and sapphire which are really all the watches that i have featured you know that that's really got its own character uh, and this one it's a little bit of a pity that it doesn't have a display back because you know this is really an interesting piece uh, let's just wind it up a bit get that second hand moving there yep okay so uh, you know you can see it's a chronograph now i just want to start that Yep, it ticks along very uh, visibly, you know, I wonder what uh, speed this movement is, but that, that second hand certainly uh, jumps along at a vis very visible uh, step there. Alright, and that's interesting, you know, that that uh, is a column wheel chronograph feel, you know, that, and that's really why I've been... Uh, quite interested to take a look at this piece. Uh, uh, so again, a pity it doesn't have a display back because I would have loved to see that column wheel uh, in action there. I, I've not had a column wheel chronograph in my hand in this channel anytime. I, I've not ever handled one in hand. So uh, it's just, just been fascinating for me to get my hands on this. So guys, 
um, take a look out for this one on the review as well you know it's just uh, two uh, pieces very very different you know how uh, much different can you get one is a kind of a vintage remake uh, Chinese uh, this one is obviously Seiko a famous Japanese uh, I guess they're both Asian uh, nothing wrong with that and uh, I really look forward to taking a look at these things so thank you guys for sharing this to me thank you uh, Jody for sending these through these are you know, two watches I'm going to be very interested to take a closer look at uh, thank you guys for watching uh, do consider subscribing I put out content every week learning heaps about horology and I share it right here on the channel as always I will catch you next time